As you watch this from a classroom at USF, the video is likely being streamed through the campus's fiber optic network that is wired into almost all of the buildings on campus. So how exactly do fiber optic cables work? Well, though there are many different types of cables, the primary concept is based on wave propagation. A transmitter at one end of a very thin glass or plastic strand sends a beam of light down the path to a receiver on the other end. This beam of light carries data with it as it reflects down the sides of the strand. The strand is completely covered in a material that is called cladding. The cladding material has a lower refracting index than the strand itself, designed to keep light from escaping the fiber. As it turns out, light waves propagate following the same rules as electromagnetic waves. Starting with Maxwell's equations and applying properties of the glass fiber and the air that fills it, we can derive what is called the wave equation, which is a basic description of how light works within the fiber. On the left we have Maxwell's equations, and on the right we have their forms after we apply the appropriate properties. The divergence of the D field ends up being zero as we have no charge density in light. The divergence of the B field remains the same. The curl of the B field ends up being mu naught times the derivative of the D field, and the curl of the electric field ends up being the same. Through some simple substitutions and computations, we are able to derive a wave equation for the light in an air-filled glass tube, which shows how Maxwell's equations were used in the development of fiber optics. Since now our data moves at the speed of light, you can see how we are able to transmit our data so quickly. One record-shattering instance of this was a multi-core fiber optic cable that was able to send data at a rate of over one petabyte per second. That is approximately over twice the information the Library of Congress has in both digital and physical form in a single second. I hope you have found this video both informative and entertaining. Thank you for watching.